This is our sports highlights where Yahas Nur Rahmat was invited to take part in the Sibatlatics in Kazan, Russia, representing Indonesia. The fighter and him agreed without hesitation. As Yahas continued to tackle new challenges in his life, he hopes that more disabled people in Indonesia will be willing to join future competitions. Hasnur Ahmad used to tear down the track on his motorbike, flying past the finish line to take to the podium. But his life changed after a racing crash in 2014. The accident left him paralyzed from the waist down. He started his new journey as a sport shooter while going through rehabilitation until a new door of opportunities opened for him in 2023. He was invited to take part in the civil ethics in Kazan, Russia, representing Indonesia. The fighter in him agreed without hesitation. We weren't born this way. However, we each have unique accounts of the tragedies that led to our disabilities. This game made us feel like we were born again. It pushed us to think about how we get back in life. Even for those who were born with disabilities, it opens the door to opportunities to become athletes. The Indonesian government has shown its support to disabled athletes in competing in different international sports events. Although the story of disabled athletes has lesser known to public. However, it doesn't stop the enthusiasm of these four athletes to compete in the games of the future. The Sibyl Addicts was unlike anything Yahas has participated in before. The relay competition consisted of day-to-day -day activities that come with their own challenges for disabled athletes. Moving items from one place to another, walking through steps made of boxes, and opening doors. And each task had to be completed as a team as fast as possible. Even though Indonesia didn't bring any trophies home, the experience has become a memory of a lifetime that they hope to repeat next year. We are quite happy with the enthusiasm shown. From the Russian government, from the event itself, and from the fact that disabled people are able to compete in the same environment. It was an amazing experience. We also saw enthusiasm from other contingents. We are all looking forward to the next Cybathletics. The impact didn't stop there. The Civil Addicts Association wants to extend their help in collaborating with countries around the world, including Indonesia, in expanding these opportunities. That cooperation opens doors for governments, disabled association, and even private health clinics. So we believe that uh, through these games, uh, we can really uh, motivate people in different countries uh, to grow uh, on uh, their own and uh, also uh, this is to support uh, different uh, manufacturers of uh, technical means of rehabilitation to provide a better and better solutions for them. So this is how we call, uh, we create cyborgs. The message has been welcomed by the community in Indonesia. Fidianto Wospodo was in Kazan to support the Indonesian team during the competition. But as someone who works in the field of prosthetic orthotics, he went home with bigger ambitions. It's quite simple yet challenging for the athletes. That's what makes the Cyb Athletics attractive. That has also become a challenge for us. As someone who offers prostheses, do we have enough training sessions for patients? When we create one for our patients, do we make sure it can be used in their daily lives? The struggle for disabled people in Indonesia is real. Not to mention Jakarta, for example, as the capital city of Indonesia is still far away from being disabled friendly. But what the symbolic offers might change the game. As he has continued to tackle new challenges in his life, he hopes that more disabled people in Indonesia will be willing to join future competitions. Not just to win a trophy, but to win back their life.